What's up guys, this is Mert Music and welcome to a quad view with every specialist in Black Ops 4. This is going to be a quad view with every specialist weapon and every specialist equipment. Well, sort of. As I'm sure we all know, we have specialists in Black Ops 4 that have lethal weapons and have lethal equipment, but there are also specialists that have non-lethal weapons and non-lethal equipment. So with that being said, there's basically going to be three different categories for this video. Pointless specialists, regular specialists, and then DLC specialists. And yes, I am including DLC specialists. I purposely waited to make this video because they kept adding specialists as the months went on. So hopefully Vondi stops adding more specialists otherwise I'm gonna be very upset. So with that being said, let's begin with our pointless specialist attempts. Starting with Nomad. Nomad? More like no quad. Okay, so when it comes to going for a quad feed with Nomad, what's the point? Juno is the dog, that's your specialist weapon. The dog does whatever he pleases. Sometimes he'll jump off the map if he feels like it. Some, I don't, he's not gonna hit a quad feed though. He has a hard enough time just trying to chew people. Here you go, eat more. Go man. Go man, go! Keep eating them. Okay. No! But it's not like I didn't try. I just couldn't get a quad feed with the dog. Same thing goes for the moosh mine. I tried a lot, but I had no luck whatsoever trying to get a quad feed with it. So now we're moving on to zero. Zero? More like zero quads! Yeah, I don't exactly understand how you hit a quad feed with zero, so here's this. Quad hack! Ow! But if that wasn't neato burrito enough, check out these dogs with an IQ of six getting a quad with the disruptor grenade. <laughs> Oh, quad disruption! But now we're moving on to torque. Torque? <laughs> More like I don't have a bun for this one. Yeah, you need four morons to walk up directly to a barricade in hardcore. So this is what I did. Split quad! Oh, five on! <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> We're eventually gonna get to some real quad feeds. Don't worry, but it's fun to watch bots walk into a piece of metal that melts them. Oh! More oh toaster! God. I mean, the instruction said to put four people in the microwave for at least a second. Oh, quad! <laughs> it's a quad. But after many hours of actually trying to hit an online quad, this is the best that I could get. I'm gonna get a double right here. Oh, I almost had a quad feed out of it. <laughs> yeah, I gave up on the torque quad feed dream a long time ago. But now we're moving on to a really awesome crash tack boost clip. Try not to blink, um, you'll miss it. Health. Careful. Quad health. If you thought that was an epic gamer moment, check out my recon quad scan. All right, here it comes. Quad scan. There it is! Fight man! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my god, I think I just hit four of them with a rocket launcher. Oh, all right, now that we're done goofing off, here are some actual attempts with specialists that can actually kill people. Our first actual quad feed with a specialist is going to be Prophet. It's with the Tempest. Obviously, you can't really get a quad feed with a shock drone. I think it might have the potential to kill people, but you're not going to hit a quad feed with it. There it is! Oh, split quad feed! Next up is Ajax, and we're not talking about this kind of Ajax. We're talking about the bald dude from South Africa that has the giant shield and the pistol that unfortunately got nerfed, and he really hasn't been the same ever since he got nerfed really hard. This clip was from Hardcore Domination. I think it was in a video, but the actual feed, I, I just didn't have it. I still had the play of the game though, and it's a five-man play of the game, but I do have another clip that I'm going to show you guys after this. I recently got this clip playing some hardcore on Nuketown. Now, unfortunately, I got hit by an EMP grenade from a stupid zero, so it hit the quad feed for me, but I, I didn't care. I would figure, you know what? I'm just going to keep going, trying to get as many kills as I could, and watch it back in theater mode after. I got an EMP. I couldn't tell. So I watched the clip back in theater mode, and I went to the perspective of the emo person who ruined my feed, and I had the triple right there, and as you can see, split quad on screen. I did it. It's a split quad feed. Yay! But honestly, that clip was trash, Eric. This is my uh, quad feed with the ballistic shield. As you can see, I'm absolutely destroying all of them. They have no chance against me because I'm the best. I'm going. But now we're moving on to syrup. 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 Giraffe? Sir, sheriff's office? Booby chapter is done with this nun. I hit this clip with the Annihilator pistol really early on. I think it's when they were first doing like Newtown 24-7, I'm pretty sure. And it's not quite a quad feed on screen, but I have other clips with it coming up. Woo! On awesome, screen. nice triple. But one thing is for sure, I'm so bad with the Annihilator pistol that every single quad feed I even attempted or tried to hit with it was on Newtown because I'm just that bad. Woo! I got a quad feed, failures! And this should be proof enough that I'm pretty horrible with the Annihilator pistol. I get a collat right here. And I, I'm pretty sure a triple lines up like three times. Nice. Oh, oh no! Jesus. I could have had more! And I was missing, but thank you. There's back-to-back -back collats. Next up is fire break, and there's gonna be clips with the reactor core, and there's gonna be clips with the purifier as well. What I love so much about this first clip is that this was my first time using the reactor core on Newtown, and I didn't realize it was this good. Is it helping? Is it helping? Do stuff. Melt them. Quad feed! Oh my god! I just got a five man! Oh my god. If I do quad feed with every specialist, that's definitely going in it. <laughs> Look at that. He was right. Now we're moving on to the... <laughs> Oh my god. Moving on to the Purifier. Obviously a Newtown clip because the Purifier's range is pretty awful and I made it pull it off here. There's a quad feed. Wow. Let's go. Nice. Once I caught onto the whole reactor core thing destroying people when you're playing hardpoint on Newtown, there was no stopping it. And I just, I kept going for quads. I need to be Get melted. Air. Oh! Oh, nice five mine. 
six. Five. I don't know what a five mine is, but I'm pretty sure I killed six right there, Philly. But now it's time to ruin someone's day with the grab slam. <laughs> This clip was hit super early on. It was in the beta of Black Ops 4, and man, these guys just did not know what was coming. They're gonna die. Oh my god! Oh! Did you guys know that Ruin's actual name is Walsh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. You need fucking Oh my god. Oh, let's go! But if those clips weren't enough to energize you, here's better. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with me, but okay. anyway, this is a beta clip. This is when the war machine actually looked different in the kill feed, which is pretty interesting to note as well. And this was a split quad that I hit. Yes! Split quad! Now, I just want to warn you guys that I have hit an excessive amount of quad feeds with the war machine. It is just so good in Black Ops 4. It's really good for clearing out campers, getting easy kills, easy quad feeds. It's just too good. Ooh, quad feed, let's go. But aside from the war machine, battery also has the cluster grenade, and I struggled really hard to hit a quad feed with the cluster grenade, but you're gonna see a lot of clips with that as well. Oh. No, it was almost a quad. So just so you guys know, all of those clips were just for me casually playing battery, and now this is when I was actually trying to hit some really good quad feeds. This clip right here was from Safeguard, and I got three kills right there, and then I ran over here to get a triple and a double for a six on. Oh, oh, oh! what? <laughs> Whoa! I was not expecting that many! And right here, I've got a quad feed on Arsenal Sandstorm. I just, I barely ever play this map. I don't really like it. The visibility is terrible, but I managed to get a triple right there. And I was just like, oh, I'll just fire one off and got the quad feed. It was pretty easy to hit quad feeds with the war machine, but with the cluster grenade, it was just such a pain. I tried so many different game modes, so many different things. I got a triple and safeguard right there, but no quad feed. And this next clip is the epitome of showing how difficult it is to hit a quad feed with the cluster grenade, but how easy it is to use the war machine. I get a triple right there and a hit marker, but I can't get the quad feed. So I pull out the war machine and just start firing it off. Oh, I got a quad feed right there. But if that wasn't enough, I'm going to fire some more and get a six on. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think I got it figured out. You have to play safeguard, and then when you know that there's a lot of people clustered together, you throw the cluster grenade, so that way they decluster, and then you wait for the exploding to... <gasps> Why can't I get a quad with this? Ow! But man, we're back with the war machine. Here we go on Nuketown. Let's go. So difficult to hit a quad with it. Am I right? I mean, look at this. Oh, my... What the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they just kept I'm appearing. <laughs> this is the absolute last attempt I will show you of anything battery related. We're playing some heist. I got a triple cluster grenade, and you can see it's a six on with the knocks with the final kills. And on top of that, I even went for the quad feed for killing the last person, and I did it. Oh! Turn it into uh, a quad. That was sick. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, they were sorry, all just camping here. They were all camping here, and it was almost a like quad cluster grenade. Yep. And it killed them all too. They all died there except the one. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for the quad feeds with the specialists that were in Black Ops 4 at launch. With the exception of Zero. And now we're moving on to our DLC specialists. First on the list is Outrider. Now I don't actually have the original clip, so this is just from the video when I hit the five on with her. Oh my goodness. Spawn more. Oh my god! Is that a five on? Oh my god! Next up on the list is Spectre. Now, obviously, you can't hit a quad feed with the smoke grenade, so this is gonna be quad feeds with the shadow blade. I hit this while I was playing on the couch, so I had to go back into theater mode to get it. It is safeguard, but for some reason, it looked like it's hardcore because of how it was recorded, so I apologize for that. But on top of that quad feed, I have another clip where I'm flanking people, doing some safeguard on grind, and I got a double right there, and then two more kills for another quad feed. Oh, and last but not least, we have the superior specialist, Reaper. My first impressions of Reaper and the Scythe were very different than how I think he actually plays out in Black Ops 4 now, because when I was first using him, I had to get accustomed to the slower movement and the weirdness of switching between ADS and having a faster fire rate versus not aiming and having a slower fire rate, but still a pretty viable time to kill and I gotta say Reaper with the scythe is just maybe too good is how I'd say because I mean are you watching the clip right now this is a kill chain I'm showing a kill chain before I'm showing a quad feed with him it's he's just so ridiculously good the scythe is I wouldn't say it's broken but definitely very good oh my god is that a kill chain it was a kill chain oh my Woo! God damn it, buddy, you oh. I can't stop though but this isn't kill chain with every specialist. This is quad feed with every specialist. And I know you guys wanted to see a quad feed. It's the exact same lobby. They're getting pummeled. I mean, this is right after the quad feed. This is just a continuation of the streak. I killed the ruin who tried to gravity spike the robot right there. Ended up with a triple. And I knew they were going to be coming out of spawn right here. So what do you get? You get another triple right after. It's just, it's so good. Oh my God. Do I push it in or not? And it actually brings up the question, is Reaper too good currently in Black Ops 4? Because the scythe 
you, you can't really top it with any of the other specialists except for maybe War Machine. While Battery is fun to play and the War Machine and the Cluster Grenade is pretty strong, you just can't go on the kinds of streaks that you can go on with the Scythe. The Scythe is just very, very good. And look how clueless these guys are. This is another safeguard clip. It was actually one of the first ones I hit, but it's a split five on screen, kind of. It was just really ugly. That was such a messy quad. Was it even a quad? But the whole reason you're seeing a kill chain before like a really bad split five on is because I'm showing all of the clips in chronological oh order from when I first hit a quad feed with a certain specialist to some of the most recent clips that I've hit with those specialists. Jeez. Well, but aside from the specialist quad feeds, I wanted to show you guys some bonus clips as well. These clips aren't necessarily anything too crazy. They're just leftover clips that I had. This is a quad feed with the Peacekeeper. I figured you guys might want to see it because it is a DLC weapon. Oh, nice. Now this next clip is going to be with the Rampage or the Fallout or Brecci, but I'm actually going to be talking about the next clip that's coming, which for some reason, David Vonderhaar showed up in our after action report like he was in our game but he really wasn't. It was actually just the bot David Vonderhaar. So that's coming up next, but this clip will have you going. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. How come the after action report shows David Vonderhaar getting 24 kills and five deaths? What the fuck is wrong with this game? Oh. <laughs> Why is, exactly, Maybe. why is he there? But that, my friends, is going to conclude a quad feed with every specialist in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of time and effort went into getting all of the quad feeds with all of the different specialist characters, except for the ones that, you know, don't actually kill people or just suck. But regardless, it was a lot of fun to go for the clips and it was even more fun to actually put this whole video together. So if you guys really did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and share it with some friends or anyone else who might enjoy watching it too. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can get notifications for every new video that I upload because it's scientifically proven that if you're not subscribed and you miss my videos you're gonna get struck by lightning so don't take any chances but I, I think I should just stop there <laughs> again thank you guys very much for watching a quad with every specialist in Black Ops 4 if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later